Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do something new for my channel, and that's... <clears throat> I'm going to build a 3D printer. Now, this isn't suddenly we're going to become a 3D printer channel, but if I enjoy it, I will probably do more videos about it. Uh, the reason I now bought a 3D printer, I've been wanting one for a long time, but I never had a good enough reason to buy one. But since uh, restarting my Queen LED project and making new boards for that, I want to be able to offer, uh, well, basically housings for the board, or at least files that can, people can print them themselves, etc. So, that was enough reason for me to buy a 3D printer. And while looking around and during sales week on AliExpress, I chose the, well, it says it right here, the Ender 3 from Creality 3D. Um, I don't know how it performs yet. From what I've seen from other YouTubers, it does pretty well. And uh, well, they, uh, yeah. So to be the chief evangelist, I, my English sucks today. So let's just stop this babbling and let's build a printer.
Okay, if you watch the time lapse, the 3D printer is now built. And all in all, I think it took me about two to two and a half hours and process was fine. I uh, got stuck a bit on step five and seven, I believe, but after looking at it again for a little bit and quickly Googling online, that quickly became clear and I was able to build a printer without issue. Um, so, well, I've been, uh, I've been printing stuff and uh, I'll show you some close-up shots of the prints. Um, out of the box, I'm actually pretty happy. Uh, this is a very budget-oriented 3D printer, so don't expect it to be the perfect I build it and it works perfectly every time printer. Uh, there's going to be some tweaking and fiddling and especially stuff like bed leveling. It's, it's stuff you need to figure out. The easiest tip for that is down, go to thingiverse.com and download the Ender 3 bed leveling G-code, as they call it. And um, that helps a lot to level the bed and make sure everything works correctly. And then, well, this is actually my first print, is this little dog. And that's the example that you get with the printer uh, on the SD card. But as you can see, it, I started in white and then I went to black. The reason for this is, I was like, okay, this is an example on the SD card. So the example filament they gave us must be enough to print this little dog. Well, no. So I had to pause the print in the middle, or well, when it was at this point, and then feed in the black filament and, uh, well, it, it stuck together, so it worked in the end, so that's good. Later on I printed this one with some yellow filament after printing with black for a while. As you can see, it has these strange stripes in it, which I don't mind. But also, well, this happened. Um, so yeah, that's either a problem with my uh, Y-axis or with the bed leveling or something like that. So it's not a printer that you don't have to fiddle with, but once you get it all dialed in correctly and it works well, it can actually make some, uh, some pretty nice prints. And I'll, I'll be showing you some close-ups of these. Um, I've been doing some of these test prints and yeah, it's been coming out fine. And um, yeah, the whole procedure of being able to download something someone designed on Thingiverse, for instance, and then slicing it in Cura. And what do you mean with slicing is on Thingiverse, they have the 3D model but each 3D printer is different and uh, you might want to temp uh, print with a different temperature or for a different bed temperature or for a different layer level, um, different materials, etc. And that's what your slicer does. So I'm using, using Cura and um, yeah, it's been pretty easy to figure out and there have been enough YouTube tutorials and stuff like that so that you can figure it out quickly. As I said, I'm not going to become a 3D printing channel. I bought this 3D printer because I have a purpose for designing cases for the Quinn LED modules I'm also designing. But um, yeah, I'll have fun with it and if I have something to share about it, I'll, uh, I'll probably share it on my channel. Um, I have some affiliate links in the description if you also are looking for a cheap and affordable 3D printer, uh, which has very nice quality uh, once dialed in correctly. Uh, check in the description and uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.